It's a mad dash on soda with Thomas and friends. We've got 32 engines. Pick your favorite. Celebration James, Duchess, Shooting Star Gordon, Steven, Lorenzo, Snowy Spencer, Lion James, Glow in the Dark Edward, Merlin, Celebration Thomas, Hyperglow Ashima, Gina, Glenn, Celebration Percy, Diesel, Monkey Thomas, Toby, Panda Percy, Philip, Scruff, Samson, Charlie, Raul, Gustavo, Celebration Nia, Elephant Gordon, Rebecca, Flying Scotsman, Kenji, Young Bao, Henry, and Harvey. First up, Monkey Thomas and Toby. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, and look at this, it looks like Monkey Thomas slightly ahead of Toby, but not by much, just by a mask. As he goes up, Monkey Thomas will take the Blue Mountain Quarry as Toby takes the Rainbow Road. The fans are happy, they're jumping up and down. Here comes Monkey Thomas clearly ahead with Toby off in the distance as he comes down and crosses the Great Race Bridge. Going straight now, coming around the corner, it is Monkey Thomas. Monkey Thomas wins. Next up, the Flying Scotsman takes on Kenji. On your marks, get set. Go! Off they go, and these two engines, very long, very strong. It looks like Kenji, a full train length ahead as he is coming up the Blue Mountain Quarry Road. As he gets into that Blue Mountain, as he is going up, off in the distance, we can see Scotsman on the Rainbow Road, but it is definitely Kenji coming around, and he is going. The fans are being absolutely happy about this. Kenji is a full steam ahead. He will go on in. He wins! Kenji has absolutely blown Flying Scotsman out of the water. Next up, the Battle of Brazil. Gustavo takes on Raul. On your marks. Get set. Go! Off they go, and oh no, Gustavo. Wow. My goodness, what happened to him? But look at Raul, he is going absolutely crazy as he is going to go flying up the Rainbow Road. And he is definitely on his way yeah, here. Coming around the mountain when he comes, if you will, folks, as he goes over Tidmouth Bridge and comes right down. And he is going to skunk Gustavo poorly. I thought his batteries were changed, but it is all Raul. I don't know what happened to Gustavo. He is just not doing very well. I don't think he can even climb a hill. My goodness. Next up, let's have Hyperglow Ashima up against Gina of Italy. On your marks. Get set. Go! Here we are in these two engines, both from the great race, both competitors in the shunting competition. I believe Ashima is slightly ahead of Gina at this point. An old train's length. Let's concentrate on Hyperglow Ashima as she comes around, glowing those lights behind her, showing off an eerie glow as she comes around. She's going downhill. Gina off in the desk is coming downhill right now, but look at this, it's all Ashima of India. Ashima wins. Ashima wins. Yes, she does. Next up, it is Elephant Gordon with those big tusks taking on Rebecca, number 22. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, no, no! Oh, it was Elephant Gordon. Yeah, hopefully Gordon still comes out of it. And look at this, he's passing a she, or I'm sorry, Rebecca, if you will. Wow. She's going up the Blue Gordon Mountain Quarry. That? that yellow on blue, it looks like Gordon definitely ahead. You can see him off in the distance. Let's see him coming over and down the hill he goes. Rebecca, the slow of the two engines, even though she got a bit of a head start, yeah. as the tusk of Gordon makes his way through. Elephant Gordon, you win. Next up, let's have Celebration James, red and splendid, going up against Samson, who's kind of grayish green and drab. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, it looks like Samson. My goodness, ahead of James, is that true? No, James now, James, definitely James, ahead. He is pulling James, ahead, Samson, James, the number 15 James, strong engine, but let's James, follow James. James yeah, he, our crowd James, is going for James, James being how splendid as he is, and he is splendid James, in that shiny James, red paint of his. Coming up the hill, going over to the bridge, and he is still ahead as he comes down, back over the bridge. Oh my goodness, Samson has fallen off. James goes on to win.
win. Samson being put back on. It looks like he fell off at the apex. Yeah. Samson, not known for his intelligence, has fallen off the top of the Blue Mountain Quarry while James goes on. Next up, Charlie versus Steven. On your marks. <laughs> Get set. Go! Off they go. And oh my goodness, Charlie looks slightly ahead. I know that the crowd is definitely going, oh yeah, look at that, Steven is ahead now. The crowd is about to chat for Steven. The Rocket, for some odd reason, one of our younger fans just absolutely loves the color yellow and that's all she cheers for. As Steven the Rocket goes up and he comes right back down and Charlie on his way down as well. Oh my goodness, he fell off the face of the earth. Joke's on you, Charlie, because Steven wins. Well, Steven wins and what happened to Charlie? He fell. That's what happened. And the next race we'll have Shooting Star Gordon up against the Duchess, one of the fastest engines we have. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go and it is nose to nose as they come around the corner. They're taking the inside road here and it looks like Duchess slightly ahead of Gordon. Shooting Star off in the distance, we'll take the rainbow road. Let's follow Duchess the leader as she goes up Blue Mountain Quarry. Climbing the hills, not a problem for the Duchess. She has absolutely no issue going up here. She is coming up and well ahead of Shooting Star Gordon. She makes it down to the bridge. Shooting Star off the distance, but it is the Duchess as she goes up through and gets the checkered flag. And the Shooting Star, like so many of us here at home, got stopped cold by old number 2020. Up next, it is Scruff the Scruncher from Way Whiff's Way Stump up against Nia of Kenya from all the way in Africa. On your marks. Get set, go! Off they go, and look at this, Scruff got a little, little bit of a head start, but I think it is Nia definitely ahead at this point. She is well ahead of Scruff, and she is going up, and she'll take the blue road, she'll take the high road, you take the low road, and let's see who gets to the top of the hill before ye. Nia coming up and around the bend on the Blue Mountain Quarry, showing off that orange paintwork cover, she's coming down well ahead of Scruff, off the distance, who has yet to apex. And she has already made it past back here on the Rainbow Highway and she gets a checkered flag. Congratulations, celebration, Nia. You have a lot to celebrate. One of our more popular engines, it's Panda Percy. And let's have him go up against another masked character, Snowstorm Spencer. On your marks, get set. Okay, Josie, are you ready? Yeah. Go! Off they go, and here he comes. It looks very close, but I think Panda Percy is well ahead. All that bamboo, folks, pandas, not the most able-bodied and unlazy creatures on earth. They're not the most motivated, that's for sure. But Percy is definitely being Spencer because Spencer seems to be caught in a snowstorm as the crowd is cheering for Percy. It is Panda Percy coming around the corner when he wins and he gets a checkered flag. Congratulations, Percy. Panda Percy takes out Spencer. Next up, let's have number three. It is the big caterpillar, Henry, going against Diesel. On your marks, get set. Go! Off they go, and look at this, these two engines, no stranger to each other here on Sodor. They are very close, nose to nose. I think Diesel now with a slight advantage coming ahead. Henry off the distance is doing very well, but it looks like Diesel going up the Blue Mountain Road as we have the Rainbow Road with Henry. He's not doing so good on that red road of his, but look at this, Diesel, all the blue up, and he is well ahead of Henry as he is coming down. Oh no, Henry has passed him. It is now Henry slightly ahead and Diesel retakes the game. This is going to be very close. I wonder who's going to win out this. Oh my goodness, what a close race. Henry, very good at going down hills, has beaten Diesel. Next up, Young Bao of China takes on Lorenzo, the musical engine of Italy. On your marks, get set, go! Oh wow, look at this. It looks like Lorenzo slightly ahead and he is. Oh wow, he is well ahead. He's a whole train worth ahead. Lorenzo, the musical engine, now will take the Rainbow Ridge as he is going up, coming around, and look at this, folks. He is all the way ahead as he is just running so fast, singing as he goes, as most musical engines do. He will come around, say hi to Sir Topham Hatt, and get the checkered flag. Oh, and it's a kiss for Lorenzo. Here's a couple of short engines. Let's have Philip the Diesel up against Glenn the coffee pot. On your marks, get set. Go! Off they go, and I think there was a slight little advantage given to Glenn, but it doesn't much matter. Philip is now ahead by a full length, and he is really taking it to Glenn. Off he goes, and he will come over the Blue Mountain Quarry as he comes around. He will cl climb up. Glenn off in the background, not doing as well. But look at Philip. He is well ahead as he is up and around, and he will come down. And he goes back over the bridge. a little diesel shunter, and he is going through and wins. Congratulations, Philip! You beat Glenn in a race once. Next up, Harvey takes on Celebration Percy. On your marks, get set, go! 
And off they go, and Harvey very slowly coming on the track. I don't think he's doing very well, but look at Celebration Percy. Lots to celebrate as he comes over the bright red tracks and goes down the hill. And I think, the, did you switch the points? No. Someone switched the points. But look at the points there. Oh, the points are there now. And it looks there. like this. It looks like Celebration Percy went the wrong way on a one-way track and gets the checkered flag. Harvey has that helpful hook, but I don't think it helped him today. And it's another Percy into the next round. So much for Harvey. Steam Team Battle as Celebration Thomas takes on Lion James. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, look at this, and these two engines, no strangers to each other. They both think the inside track looks like Lion James slightly ahead. And he is roaring down the track as he comes back around and he will go up the Rainbow Road as he is really on that red track of his and he is going up. Oh yeah, look at this, and Thomas is on the blue, that's right. James was on the red, Thomas was on the blue, but Thomas is falling behind, Lion James knocks oh. over. Sir Topham oh. Hat, but he still wins. Can you put Sir Topham Hat on the track? Okay. I think James made it to the finish first. Thomas did raise the checkered flag, but somebody put Sir Topham Hat on the track. And the final race of the first round has Glow in the Dark Edward up against Merlin the Invisible. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, look at this. I think that the slight advantage is, oh yeah, look at this, it's not slight anymore. It is Merlin the Invisible coming down the glow in the dark track and he is really tearing up the track. Those three funnels of his just glowing. Edward has a on the blue track, but it's nothing compared to what Merlin is doing as he is really going down, coming over the bridge and he will come ahead. Josie says stop, but no, it's Merlin. And it is Merlin completely visible at the finish line. Welcome to the second round, 16 engines remain. Josephine, who do you think is gonna win? You think Duchess is gonna win? Okay, you pick Duchess. I'm gonna go with Lorenzo. Everyone, I hope your engine is still in it to win it. First race of the second round, let's have Henry, the big green caterpillar, up against the Duchess. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, Henry with a little bit of a lead, but I think now it is Duchess who is, wow, one to full train length ahead. She is going up the river, or the Rainbow Ridge rather, sorry, and she is coming down. It looks like she went straight. Oh wow, we gotta fix that turn because that's crazy. She went straight so she won't get as much of an advantage, but I don't think she needs it. She is going, going, and she is really fast. And she is coming through and she wins. Henry is eliminated. Next race, let's have Hyper Glow Ashima go up against Philip. These two were met in the great race, that's right. On your marks, get set, set go! Off they go, Ashima uh, get lets out a little bit early. I, whoa, Daddy doesn't even know how to speak English. Looks like Ashima is ahead, is ahead, sorry, and she is going, going on the Hyperglow track with her Hyperglow lights making Hyperglow colors over Hyperglow, and she is in the lead, and she will go down first. And look at her go, she comes back over the bridge. She is well on her way to winning this race. It's another victory for the ladies of Sodor. Congratulations, Ashima. Next up, let's have Panda Percy with his mask going up against Celebration Nia. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, and they are neck to neck, toe to toe, head to head. Is there coming down, it looks like Panda Percy. Well ahead of Nia at this point. Clearly ahead as it were, it must be all that bamboo. Once again, folks, this black and white face is going up. He's got the cutest little face, but can he win a race? Let's find out if the face can win the race. He is going down well ahead of Celebration Nia, who's now coming down the giant hill, and it looks like it will be Panda Percy coming through with the fireworks. Another win for the Sodor Safari Group. Next up, it is Merlin the Invisible going up against Lion James. On your marks, get set. Go! Off they go, Lion James. Well, ahead of Merlin, the completely visible. As they take the inside track, it looks like Lion James almost a full length ahead as he is going up, and he will take the Blue Mountain Quarry with that lion face of his. He is not a cowardly lion at all, folks. He is very brave, going up, going strong, and he is at the top. Still ahead of Merlin as he goes over the bridge. Merlin looks he caught up slightly, but it won't be enough. Lion James wins. Merlin is eliminated. Oh, and he knocked over Sir Topham. Did you put him there? Yeah. Next up it is Steven who is Josie's favorite color yellow going up against Elephant Gordon. I think he's a past winner. He's really fast. On your marks, get set, go! And these two are off to the races. Look at this folks. And it looks like, oh it is, it's Elephant Gordon. He is well ahead of Steven. That's not going to make Josie happy but he is coming up over the beautiful red road and he is going around and around and around and he will come down the hill. Look at him go as he's coming back over the bridge and he is rapidly going through and he will win. Sir 
top of hat has collapsed. Elephant Gordon wins and Josephine has taken off his mask. Next up, Celebration James in that beautiful red paint job of his up against Kenji, the fastest engine in Japan. On your marks, get set, go! Here we go and these two should be very tightly deadlocked. Looks like Kenji is now caught up and he is ahead, slightly ahead of Celebration James. He is going to go around and around and around. And here he is coming up. He is almost neck and neck with James. I think James might have caught up slightly, but I think Kenji slightly ahead. Oh no! James caught behind, needs to get repaired. But look at this, it is all Kenji at this point, and he wins. James has been eliminated. Here we have two excellent shunters. It is Celebration Percy and Raul do Brazil. On your marks, get set. Oh, and here we go. It looks like Raul is slightly ahead of Celebration Percy. As they take the inside track, it looks like, oh, wow, neck and neck. But I think that Raul is slightly ahead just by a little bit. But it's still anybody's race as he goes up. The Blue Bomb Quarry is easy. He's coming around in unfamiliar territory. Off in the distance, we see Percy slightly behind. But I think as we go down the hill, Raul clearly ahead. And he is as Percy attempts to catch up. But it won't be enough. Raul passed Monkey Thomas and wins. Celebration Percy, you have nothing to celebrate. And in the last race of the second round, it is Dad's pick, Lorenzo, going up against Monkey Thomas. His three Sodor Safari friends have made it to the final, will he? On your marks. On the marks. Get Good. set. Good shot. Go! Off they go, and it looks like Monkey Thomas had a little bit of an early start, but I think Lorenzo might catch up to him rather quickly. They're very close. I think Lorenzo now just passing him slightly. We'll see if the musical engine of Literally can come around. Beautiful colors here on the track today, folks. Lorenzo coming over, up and around, and he is slightly ahead of Monkey Thomas, but will it be enough? I don't know. They're very close at this point. We're gonna have to see who's gonna get that checkered flag, and it is Lorenzo! Lorenzo, dad's pick still in it to win it. Welcome to the grade A. Both of our engines are still in it, Josie. Raul, Lorenzo, the Duchess, Lion James, Elephant Gordon, Kenji, Hyperglow Ashima and Panda Percy, one of these will win. Welcome to the first race. We have the Duchess, that's Josephine's pick up against Elephant Gordon and Josie stole his mask. Yes. On your marks, get set. Are you ready? Yes. Go! And their mask, the Elephant Mask is Duchess. These guys are gonna go, whoa! Look at Elephant Gordon, he is well ahead at this point. I didn't think he was going this fast, but he's going up this Rainbow Ridge and he is climbing the hill very fast. Maybe that mask is holding him back, folks. I don't know, he's coming down the hill now, back over the bridge, and he is well ahead of the Duchess at this point as he goes in and gets the win. And the Duchess, Josephine's pick to win it all has been eliminated. Congratulations, Gordon. Next up, Lorenzo, the musical engine going up against Kenji. On your marks, get set. Go! Off they go, it looks like Lorenzo slightly ahead, Kenji coming in. And Lorenzo well ahead at this point, Kenji, one of the fastest engines, but I don't know how fast he's gonna be. Let's see how he climbs the Blue Mountain Quarry off in the distance, it looks like Lorenzo is ahead of Kenji at this point in time. As Kenji climbs up, it looks like Lorenzo is, yeah, he is definitely ahead, Kenji coming in as good as he can, but will it be enough? It is not. Oh, look at that, Kenji's wearing an elephant mask. Did you see that? And Lorenzo still in it to win it, Kenji, goodbye. Next up, Panda Percy in the black and white versus Hyper Glow Ashima, who's all about color. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, look at this, Panda Percy slightly ahead, we're all hoping for Ashima, aren't we Josie? And I think Ashima uh, is now ahead as she goes up the Hyper Glow track with her Hyper Glow wheels and her Hyper Glow lights and the Hyper Glow Oh, just a lot of hyper glow with Ashima. Let's just face it, she's from India. The colors are beautiful. Will she be enough to beat Panda Percy? Let's find out, she's slightly ahead at this point. Josie is now cheering for Ashima, and Ashima has won! Ashima, the last girl in the races. I know who Josephine is gonna be cheering for. Final race of the third round, we have Raul of Brazil up against Lion James. Who's gonna win? On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, this is a very close race, neck and neck, toe and toe, look at this, and it is Lion James, slightly ahead. Lion James must be the mask, folks. I'm not lying when I tell you he's fast, but he is lying if he tells you he thinks he's gonna lose, because look at him go, he's coming up well ahead of Raul de Brazil in the background, and we have, oh, it looks like his tender slightly off, but it is Lion James, goes ahead and wins! And the final engine to make it the, to the final four is Lion James. Final four, two safaris, Sodor engines. It is Lion James and Elephant Gordon. 
We also have Lorenzo and Hyper Glow Ashima, the surprise of the whole story. First up, Elvin Gordon got his Elvin mask back on up against Josephine's favorite. It is Hyper Glow Ashima. On your marks, get set. Go! Off they go, and they are really getting it together. I think that, oh no, Josephine's not going to be happy. It looks like Ashima's falling behind as Elephant Gordon comes up and over, and he is really just plowing his way like an elephant would do. And he is going over the tracks well ahead off of Ashima, off in the distance, and here he comes again. Elephant Gordon, interesting to note, elephants are commonly found in India. Gordon, a safari engine, is an African elephant, so much different than the elephants that Ashima sees. Maybe that's what confused her and cost her the race. But who will Gordon face? Let's find out as Lion James takes on Lorenzo. On your marks, get set. Go! Off they go. It looks like Lion James slightly ahead. Maybe it will be a safari final, but no, I think Lorenzo is now slightly ahead of Lion James. Let's find out. As we're going on the hyperload track and Lorenzo working his way up, Lion James almost toe to toe with them. They are very close together, but I think Lorenzo now definitely ahead at this point as he is the first down the hill. And he is ahead of Lion James. It's gonna take a lot to knock him off and it isn't going to happen. Congratulations, Lorenzo, you are in the final. Welcome to the finals for Topham Hat ready with the trophy. Dad's pick, Lorenzo, is up against Elephant Gordon. This is gonna be very close. And to sweeten the pot, Josephine, I think the winner will get a Minnie's blind bag. What do you think? Good. Yeah, good? Good stuff. On your marks. Hey, there's an elephant driving this thing. Get set. Go! Off they go, and it is very close at this point. I think Gordon might be slightly ahead, and he is. He is pulling out ahead of Lorenzo. Let's follow Lorenzo as he goes up into the Blue Mountain Quarry, and he will come around off the distance. Oh my goodness, it looks like Gordon is definitely ahead at this point. He's already on the top gear, coming over the bridge, and he will come down as fast as he please, folks, over the bridge far away. Here we go, coming through, and it is Elephant Gordon ahead by a mile. Lorenzo, Dad's pick, coming in second place, makes Dad sad, but it is Elephant Gordon, today's big winner. I wonder if he goes faster without the mask. The blind bag is open, Josephine. Who's gonna, who's it gonna be? Let's find out. This looks like a raccoon. I think that's a raccoon's tail. I'm not sure what kind of animal. Oh yeah, those are little raccoons on it, which is kind of funny because this is a Sodor Safari. There's elephants on Gordon, and there's raccoons on this guy. This is capping. Oh. Here we have Capping Edward. He has, uh, I don't know what that is on the back of those are dogs or something like that, but there's a raccoon's tail. He's obviously eating something and he's got some s'mores and all this by the fire, so they're obviously making some food for raccoons. Capping Edward, folks. Very happy that Edward the raccoon and Gordon the elephant have won today's trophy. Congratulations and thanks for watching, kids. Toys play.